Hello, and welcome to the Wasting All the Time American Independence Day special episode. Every year, we do an episode that's entirely based on your themed scene suggestions to celebrate America's 4th of July holiday. And this year, we have to thank Greg, Sarah, Jason, Will, and Kevin. Without you, this episode wouldn't exist, and we're grateful for your input. So now we hope you enjoy this very patriotic and special episode of Wasting All the Time, a podcast. Listen to this, we're playing a game. It's a swing and a miss, and we're the ones to blame. We'd be remiss if it was ever the same. Thursday, July 7th, 2016. Hello! Hello, America! And welcome to Wasting All the Time. A patriotic podcast. My name is David. I am Jonathan. And I am Cody William Parcell, son of William Parcell. Seriously. And we're going to waste all of your time. Yes. Yes. This is episode 178. Mm-hmm. Get it? We have it numbered that way sequentially. <laughs> yes, that was yes. That was what I was asking. Because yes. the one before was 177. I thought it was mm-hmm. a trick question at first, but then I decided just to answer honestly. Twasn't. Mm-hmm. Twasn't. Uh, yes, this week is the week where the United States of America celebrates its independence. Right. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> We have in... (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, Dave. Uh, Not sorry. (laughs) We have in in the past couple of years presented to you historical facts and truths and reimaginings. And reality imaginings. Yes, of a historical nature. Yes. uh, About the early years of of America. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we've always been interested in the history uh, and we like to share that with you. Some of us are a little bit more interested in history than others. Um, everyone knows that John likes to lecture. That I uh, do. Especially when he has had a bit of a tipple. Uh-huh. Dude, can we say that? I just did. Oh, wow. We have an explicit tag for a reason. That's true. <laughs> Gutsy. Man, tipples everywhere. Um, some of our listeners may be aware of The Great Courses, uh, which is a, a lecture series presented by the teaching company, I believe they're called, and that you can, like, buy lecture series on CD or DVD. Fancy. And, you know, John is inspired by that. I Correct me if I'm wrong, you, you, you tried to get them to hire you to do something. I did, yes. And um, unfortunately, even though it seems pretty clear that the documentation that our intern Ted found mm-hmm. in a hole in the ground, mm-hmm. um, even though it seems clear to us that that is all real documentation we just haven't had the time or the resources to send it to a lab to be properly yeah eh, dated a lot a lot's happened in the past couple of years and, and busy. you know and so unfortunately <laughs> um you know not being able to verify any of this data uh they they turned down my application right but as as we we discuss off air i mean this is the internet age this is the age of of powerful tools in the mm-hmm. hands of amateurs. And, <laughs> and that's what makes America great. <laughs> Again. Or will. And uh, Wow. That was, God damn it. Um, and so we thought, well, we produce an audio podcast. We record things all the time. Mm-hmm. Why don't we record our own lecture series for John? Right. And so, you know, what better way to start than with this topic, to, uh, a topic with which John is very well versed. Yes, given yes. Given these exclusive resources. Near and dear mm-hmm. to his weird alien heart. And yep. so what you're going to hear this week is the first lecture uh, that we've recorded so far mm-hmm. about American history um, presented by Professor John, as we're calling him. Jonathan Q. Hansington. The fourth? The Eighth. learned. Oh, the learned. That makes yes. that's a lot more yes, sense. I like that better. Yeah. Cool. So I think John did a great job. Uh, you, you let us know. And do take notes because there will be a test. Shit. So let's get started. 
Drowning Man Productions is proud to present the Jonathan Hansen Lecture Series. Lecture number one, A New American History. Now, we all know the legend of how the first United States flag came about, the uh, stars and stripes, the stars all in a little circle, red and white stripes, stars on a field of blue, and um, allegedly, you know, Betsy Ross came up with that on her own, sewed it up, and George Washington thought it was so great that he made it everyone's flag because he was king of America and what he said goes. But the reality is that, you know, as with any kind of important symbolism, this went through a committee. You know, this was not just the whim of one person thrown up as the symbol of everyone. You know, there were discussions about, you know, what are we going to do to represent our nation? What is what is the symbol in battle going to be? And those deliberations They got heated at times. This meeting will come to order. We don't even need a meeting. I'm right. Bring it in. Uh, Whatever. We've had enough of the drinks. Let's uh, let's focus up here. Almost done. Mm. No, we've had enough. Almost done. Almost done. Mm. Done with what? My this this say that with every single flagon. Because I'm almost done with each drink. I I understand that. But this one, could we? We're talking about something different here. Sure, sure. We don't have to talk about this anymore. I mean, if you want to sideline us to talk about this. No. No, you don't? You don't want to? I mean. You don't want to talk about that instead of what we're here to talk about? Uh, point it, of order, probably, chairman. Uh, um, yes, I, yes, <coughs> sure. I, why I, not? I'm the chairman. Go, you go ahead. I, I, don't, believe, I don't believe that um, under the, uh, the current uh, Continental Congress bylaws, we are uh, allowed to discuss uh, individual members. Um, Drinking problems. See, that was my understanding as well, but he he seemed insistent on bringing mm. it up. Uh, it's not a problem. And then I'm, when I'm I asked trying him, to, chairman, I'm trying to back you up. On it's this. just annoying yeah. that he denies it. Mm. It's not thing. a problem. <laughs> I enjoy it. Anyway, you were saying something about something else. Hey, I'm keeping an eye on you. Oh, that's fine. <clears throat> Fright. I'm just gonna keep drinking. A banner, a flag, some sort of graphical <sighs> marker. That's what we're here to discuss. Oh yeah. Thirteen colonies, such as we are, trying to form a. A more perfect union. Now, what about that? Uh, oh. What about that political cartoon that was going around a little while ago about there was the snake chopped up the into little bits. The segmented snake. Yeah, and, and in little bits, little yes. bits of the snake. See, I like that it, it includes all of the different colonies. It represents that there, but it does kind of make them divided. Even though it's part of a whole, it's still also awful. we're a snake. It seems a little bit over the board on states' rights. Of course, rights. we're a snake. We, we, we're we're in the grass. We strike at those who would step on. There's there's another great cartoon. There's another great cartoon about a, uh, a, a with a snake that's being okay, stepped on. Okay, and it's it's it's. It's biting the foot that stepped on it. And it says, don't tread on me. We're going to have a foot on the flag? It's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know, like a foot? Like a giant foot? Is it a British foot? Might be. We could put a... Um, we could... Like a tattoo of the Union Jack on the ankle? I... Yeah, see, th- th- here's what here's what I'm thinking. If I don't know if we want their flag on our flag. Oh, yeah. yeah, see, I, I'd like to get away from that. I would just be <laughs> making things more complicated. And if you look at yeah. their flag, it's already pretty complicated. You know, you've got all these triangles and bars and yes. stars. And I, I was thinking maybe what if we just go a solid field of blue? Just, just a big blue sheet? Yes. I mean, my first instinct was white, but then someone told me that that's that a French flag, yeah. It signifies something. So blue would be like blue, like the big sky. Blue, like oh, the so big like a sky, sky. blue, like a, a like a light powder blue. Well, no darker, but like darker. <laughs> symbolic of the great big blue sky. Yeah, so just like a big huh. blue bed sheet. That's well, I mean, ideally, it wouldn't be a bed sheet, but 
I don't know. That's the idea. I mean, no. It's just blue. It could have invisible ink. Invisible ink. What would the invisible ink say? It would. It would say we could all sign it, all and it right. could say we could like write mottos onto it, like, like, oh, the take that, you England's. Now, would we have That's to really sign subtle. each individual flag, though? Ooh, yeah. yeah. Invisible ink. Otherwise, it, it's not legitimate. Uh, that right. way, we maintain control over how the country is being represented in in. Yes, the but wind. what if in the just army blueness. has to? Yes. What if the <laughs> army has to split up for strategic reasons? Like to yes, that control? I hope that they would. So we'll have to ride out and sign another flag. Well, perhaps we should we should, we, we should monopolize flag manufacturing. This seems a bit dramatic for a blue flag. For the ink that no well, one will ever see. Again, we're just we're, we're spitballing, spitballing ideas, okay? What if, we put, if you don't like my invisible ink idea. What if we put a idea, dog on it? A dog. A so dog. First it's dog. a snake, now it's a dog. You have a whole Animal menagerie here. With. Everyone likes dogs. I don't, actually. I've been bitten. You don't like dogs? Not when they bite me. What about a bird? Put a bird on it. We Birds should just good. put a red jacket on it with a bunch of knives through it, and on the bottom it'll say, suck it, Britain. I like that. It's the Again, right direction the there. The right direction. I like Suck the red. England. I like a flag that has writing on it. Has writing. A flag should have lots of writing on it. I don't know about that. We have like a like... banner on the banner with writing on that sub banner. Oh, that would be good. Like suck it Britain, or suck it England, or suck it. It has to be a very big the queen. flag for people to be able to read it. This though. to show our aspirations to be a very big nation. Well, it was good. State country. More collection of states, kind of, right now. Republic. Representative Republic, really, at this point. Yes. What's the queen's name? You, you're really Victoria? sold on an animal? or is it Suck It Victoria? Yeah, George. Isn't it? Is it a, oh, that's right, they have a king right now. George the Third. Ah, that's right. <laughs> Glad we cleared that up. That's right. Well, he can suck it, too. So, yeah, suck yeah. it royalty. Ah, ha, ha, ha. There we go. Uh, We're all encompassing. But I, I was thinking that we might want a king. But we'll talk about king that later. America? All right, well, I vote for me for King. So I, I liked lots of writing. You like an animal of some sort. Is there some sort of quality that you really want on the flag? Can we depict a British person in having them being killed on the flag? That's kind of in line with the animal thing. <laughs> pop is what we need on this flag. We need something Something for... that pops? Yes. yes it really stands out. <laughs> Maybe like a, a bomb. A bomb. A bomb what on is the that? flag. Like a... Like a... Like a mortar? Like a gunpowder charge. Ooh. So you... gunpowder on the flag. You put a big... So we coat all of the flags in gunpowder. No, 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 no. It's symbolic. Symbolic, symbolic gunpowder. You just... Oh. It's a picture of... That's a little more boring. ...of, of gunpowder with a fuse coming out of it. That's true. That would be more accessible for exciting. the non-literate amongst us. Yes. Now that I think about all the word thing I was talking about. With the gunpowder, bl- we're gonna blow up Britain. And then... Forever. The actual... Well, okay. what, what if we tell the story of the nation <laughs> in the flag? Like, churches okay. do it with stained glass windows. Right. Okay. What if we made a stained glass flag? Like a flag made out of glass? A stained glass flag, you okay. know, with lead. And, you can't have it unstained. That's ridiculous. Then they would tell the story. Yes, but how would it flap about in the wind? Well, it would be a flag. It would be terribly stiff. It would have to be, otherwise it would shatter. Yeah, nobody wants flimsy glass. Hmm. Yes, and what's, what if someone drops it? Well, then they're a traitor to the country, and they will be summarily executed. I, I don't... You're making me doubt myself. I don't think it's a bad idea, but I'm going to think on it some more. <laughs> we'll get back to that one. I like the story, though. Like, in one corner, we have, like, the, the fucking Brits, and then we have, like... People throwing you shit into You want to depict the... people copulating on our flag? Yeah, because that's how base and disgusting they are. They copulate. Ugh. Brits. Ugh. And then, like, we'll have us throwing all this stuff in the harbor, like tea and pop rocks and whatnot. And then we'll have the battle. We'll have a couple battle scenes on it. And then we can have the Delaware. And then we can have, like, signing of the treaties. And then we can have negotiations with the, like, we're just going to be a whole, like, it'll be an epic. Uh-huh. I have it. What? Macaroni. Like, and cheese? Yankee Doodle went to town riding on his pony. Yes. Stuck a feather in his cap and called it... Macaroni. A flag. A macaroni flag? A macaroni flag. 
kind of we could have we could we could take your blue sheet yes Italian. and we could glue little bits of macaroni onto it in patterns hmm I, is, is, is no that a British friend. song but, making fun of us I, I mean we've owned it to be honest it's fair it is true we're the Yanks look what if we combined a few uh, different parts of our ideas thus far Okay. I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and veto animals. I just, oh. I'm just really not into the whole animal thing. And and upon re- further reflection, writing a whole bunch is perhaps not the best thing because it's un- inaccessible to non-literate people. Except Sucky Britain. But that could be implied perhaps oh. by mm. just our very existence. That's <laughs> yeah, true. Sucky what Britain. if we took my blue field that I like, right, right. and then we, we did your depictions of explosions... Right. All over that part, and that's that part of the flag. And then the rest of the flag can do something that you want. Like, remember when we stabbed a bunch of British guys and they bled everywhere? In the snow, yes. Yo, so great. They were. Just, I they remember were, that well. They were, man, we stabbed them and they were bleeding. It was awesome. And you want that to be... It's a bit graphic. So, like, what? Like, red stripes? Red stripes for what? I was talking about for stabbing like, British people. For, like, the blood. The blood in the snow. It yeah. made stripes. Uh, yeah, we, some of them made stripes if we stabbed them really hard. What were we talking about again? I got caught up. I'm I sorry. don't know. I feel like we're getting nowhere with this. Perhaps <laughs> uh, we'll adjourn and, and work on this another time. What do you think? Uh, yeah, time, time to adjourn, definitely. Ta- time for more drinks, shall we? Mm. Definitely time to adjourn. Mm. right That's it. During and shortly after the War of 1812 is when Francis Scott Key wrote what eventually became our national anthem, the Star-Spangled Banner. Now, this was a process, you know, it becoming the national anthem. And he had some initial difficulty in convincing various committees and governing bodies to, uh, to really think of it seriously in that light. Uh, in fact, one of the very first places he submitted it to really didn't like it at all and called him in to try and brainstorm something better. Well, Mr. Key, thank you for this attending this... Very exciting, yes. ...this uh, committee meeting. Certainly, yes. Yes. Um, now, we, we want to talk to you about this, uh, this proposed national anthem that I, you've submitted. I yes. wish to talk about it as well. Yes. Oh, now, yes. Now, I don't, I don't think that we need to be the ones to tell you that it's just not very good. It's, I'm sorry, um, what was it? Uh, Rubbish. <coughs> Garbage. Yes, it's, it's just, it's Basically very bad. So. Why it's did very you bad. call me here? Because we thought that maybe we could workshop something else You could have just together. sent a messenger saying no, you've thanks, got but no thanks. But. Yes, but we just, we see something in you as a person. You were in that, on that ship and there were bombs going off and you they were wrote, bursting in the air I wrote about that you, it's very dramatic and you wrote a song which is very, well, I wrote know, a poem and then my brother-in-law pointed out that it fit this tune oh so the song isn't original to you oh. then. well I mean it's original in that it's the lyrics are all original all of the verses are, oh, are right. I wrote yeah and um, and I mean it's just a tune that everyone knows it's you know no one's no one can own a tune Right. Well, Simon and I, we've been kind of trying to hash through a few... Anything, really. Oh, you're musicians? Other ideas. I've heard a lot of songs. I'm basically an expert by now. I see. Uh, One we came up with, um, and we want to know if maybe you can, you know, maybe workshop it, you know, refine it into something... Right, yes. Usable. I see what this has become, yes. (laughs) My face is so awesome here among my countrymen. My face is so awesome, just, could I just like say, all the could others. Could I interrupt you briefly? Um, <laughs> it's what a pity to to stop such beautiful tones. But who who is the the point of view of of this? This song, who is the, the singer? It, it, it's America, sir. America's face is so, so awesome. 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 So awesome. Awesome, yes. As in inspiring awe. I don't really think of America having a face. Hmm. 
all right. I don't know if that's unique to myself or if that's something that other people would also be confused by or put off by. It's a, well, it's an anthropomorphization of the country. It's standard poetic practice, I led to believe. I haven't heard that done, no. Hmm. We had a different direction that we maybe thought we'd take it. This one's yes, got yes, do that one, a, Simon. A little bit more energy, a little bit more kind of... Sure, yes. Oomph. Well, that's one of the things that I think yes. that my version brings to the table is all right, right, something a range. A, and a little like this. Holy crap, Britain, we just kick your ass. We kick your ass, Britain, you guys suck. You guys suck. Holy crap, Britain, we just kick your ass. We kick your ass with your stupid pants. Great balls of pants. Great balls of pants. Great balls of pants. Great balls yes. of pants. Um, <laughs> that, the chorus goes on for a little while, actually. Yes. We are trying to create a song. Yeah. Music that yes, it's, I don't... That I mean, was, I mean, the, the some of the notes could be that was a maybe neurotic a syllabification of some unknown emotion. I, well, I don't thank understand you. that. I appreciate that. I imagine it being sung often at sporting events. <laughs> I don't imagine it being sung at all. Really, you think it should be declaimed, <gasps> like kind of more screaming and Ooh, less how, like no, actual? How forward-looking! Yes, a national anthem oh. that is not sung; it's declaimed. <gasps> Are we ex- are we describing what happened or what we hope happens? Both. I look. I mean, I yea, think that my, my country, no. it be the greatest of them all. Proud America, put thy foot forward into thy foe's face. Great balls of pants. That's good. Great balls of pants. I got a tear. See, in my I eye. didn't that like was... it before that either. Oh, I, I got that... shivers. That was that was dramatic. What what about but what what if yes, why does a national anthem oh. have to be sung in the first place? Mm. Look, I think that it just needs to be a little bit less offensive and more sort of reverential. You know, that's why I really like mine. It's like it's saying, "Oh, say, can you see?" By oh. the dots poetic, it's asking people, "Are they able to see?" Because I guess presumably, if if not, then would explain it to them. You know, otherwise. Are you suggesting that Americans are? Visually impaired? I think that some or are of them you excluding be. the visually impaired? There's been a lot that's of awesome. injuries that seems. on the battlefield, and eyes are lost. And so you're you're asking blind people if they can see. Look, if I mean, can, it's not if they can see by the dawn's early light. So look, truth be told, I'm not that concerned about them. <laughs> but I just like it's painting a a, a liter- like a picture. It's it's poetic, you know. It's right. nothing that you have. Suggests it seems is poetic to me. Right, and what what is this thing that they hail? That doesn't seem like it's ever explained. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Does twilight gleam even really? That doesn't like I don't see that image. Yeah, it's not really something that well, presents it's, itself to my mind's eye. It's talking about the dawn. The dawn? I thought we were talking about twilight or the flag. Wait, there's a flag. Look, the I whole we were talking thing about twilight. The, it's. I remember. You remember. I said it's poetic. It's meant to be slightly confusing. I, Just because nobody understands you doesn't mean you're an artist. I think if you look. Oh, it look up. at that! At the end, it says that our flag was still there. And then it says, "Oh, say, can you see again?" You were kind of beating a dead horse no, with this. No, it says, "Oh, say, does that?" Yes. I, 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 right, I didn't really read it. All, I didn't read it all the way through. Well, right. Then, then the next verse, there's even what more. What the hell does "spangled" even mean? <laughs> spangled. Again, poetry. You get to make things up. It's a. <laughs> I don't like that. I think we should be a little bit more conservative in the language. Yeah, that's. If you just make up words, how are people going to identify with how awesome we are? Also, remember, we killed Britons. Lots of them. It was great. That's a good idea. We Look, I think killed no. so many Britons. We killed them all. Killed them all. Yes. Um,. I think perhaps I would like to retract my submission. Basically, songs should have murder in them. Let it go back to you. I just don't want to be associated with this. Look, I mean, if, if I, I brought a perfectly. Can we have actual guns during the anthem? Good idea. That's all right. <laughs> Sorry, yes, I yes, got kind of tuned you out for a minute. Take this away, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yes. We, I think oh. we have it handled now. Sure. Thank you for your time, Mr. Scott Key. You have my contact info? Uh, yes, somewhere around good. here. You got okay. it, Frankie. Yeah, no, so we've got actual guns and cannons anytime the national anthem is performed. Oh, yes, yes. People are going to love that shit. 
pero sí. So, as anyone who has been a fan of microbrews can tell you, uh, Sam Adams, he's a guy who liked his beer. He's also one of the founders of the Sons of Liberty, the guys who really started the revolution. And what is not commonly known is how he got the idea, which was it was when he was sitting in the drunk tank with a British officer and they were trying to pass the time. I spy with my little eye something beginning with B. Bar. Yes. You go. I spy with my little eye something gray. The wall. Yep. Should, I, mm. Are we, we try a different Jailer, game. are we sober yet? I think I've been sober. <laughs> Spell sober. C O U B R E. That doesn't count. He's British. He doesn't know how to spell right. That's how I spell it. As, as starts with a C H. Cho, that'd be Chober. Not in French. Don't talk to me about French. <laughs> yeah, no. Not even close. Great, thank you. No, thank you. Limey bastard. Oh. Right. Um. I would say spin the bottle, but mm. it's not really this kind of company. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I I know. Uh, I you, you keep saying that, but I don't believe you. <laughs> Truth or dare. Okay, what is this? Okay, so truth or dare. You, I say truth or dare, and you have to pick truth or dare. And you say truth or dare. And if Sounds you say truth, if you say truth, I I ask you something, and you have to tell me the truth about it. Oh. And if I say dare, or if you say dare, then I have to <laughs> dare you to do something. Like, like, I don't know, like pee on the wall or something. Yes, I see. All right, well... We've got time. Truth or dare? Um, truth. Truth. Um, do, does, when, when you sing it, does the macaroni in Yankee Doodle Dandy represent a penis? And I'm supposed to tell you truly what... You have to say it, you have to tell the truth. When I sing that song... When I sing the macaroni, I am not, in fact, referring to a phallus. Wow. I, <laughs> I hate to uh, crush your perspective there, but uh, oh, yeah, so okay. now we, we do it the other way yeah, around? Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Um, sir, truth or dare? Uh, tr no, t t truth. Truth. Okay. Um, Wait, I just no. Yeah, truth. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're certain. Yeah, truth. Yes, truth. All right, truth. Um, what What do you, colonial folk, really, really think about us on the uh, the island? You guys suck. I wasn't talking to you. You still suck. Like 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 the the British people like. In England or the British people here? Like in England, like, you know, we we have, um, you know, we feel pretty sure about ourselves in the world at this time, but, you know, we, we can't sort of really shake this feeling that something squiffy is going on over here. Basically, when we sing the version of Yankee Doodle Dandy that where you're the Yankee Doodle, we <laughs> think you are penises. That's heartbreaking. <laughs> okay, truth or dare? For variety's sake, I, I suppose I will choose dare. All right. I dare you. I dare you to, to call the jailer a bad name. Hey, jailer, the, the, the British guy, he wants to say something to you. He's got something to say. 
Oh, this should be good. British guy has to s tell you, you something. It's important. What do you want, Bucktooth? British guy, tell him what you tell him what you told me. That is offensive. British guy. Um, Jailer, Go ahead. you are innocuous, but a cretin, and I pity you for it. That's British for you're an asshole. That's what that means. Not, huh. not directly, but good. Glad that's out of the way. I think he called me a butt. Um, he did. All right. No, that's fine. That is that is great. Sure, sure, sure. Yes. Uh, um, you want no limes for you, huh? Yeah. How do you like that? Oh, I'm gonna go sit back at my desk. Enjoy. And you, you fucking rabble it, rouser. It's, what? It's, it's yeah. A job you're very qualified for. That's. Right. Shut up. Truth or eh. dare. dare? Well, I'm supposed to ask. I'm supposed to pose the question to you, and then you respond. Okay. I mean, these are the rules as you set them forth. Okay, okay. No, I get it. I was just excited. Truth or dare? Dare! Mm. Yes. Um, <clears throat> given how you, you say you feel about us, yeah. um, I dare you to do something about it. That's a little bit vague and overarching, but... Ooh, uh, okay. I dare you nonetheless. Hey, Jailer! Jailer! Don't you get it? What? I'm starting a club. That's... Do you want to be in the club? Oh, can I? It's about... It's about... It's a club about hating British people and and making them go away. Oh, now you're talking. Can I start with this guy? Can we just throw him in the river? No one will know. I... I mean, we're going to kill him first, but no I, one will know. Sure, yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah, and I was Sweet. thinking we could be like the sons of... Killing British people. Yes. Awesome. Look, can I just in look, interject briefly? Like, I know how you feel about this, so it's not like a massive majority of you then, right? Uh, well, we're going to make it one. Yeah. This is going to be so... No, this is a great That's idea. Right. All right, well. Because, like, I make beer. People like that. So I'll just say, hey, if, right. you, if you join the club, I'll make you beer. That's a good plan. Like, I feel slightly strangely now. Maybe. If I give you a gun, will you shoot him and be Could cool? We, Stop playing now. I, dude, Sammy, are you gonna be cool? Sure. Uh, uh, truth or dare? D dare, dare. I dare, dare you to eat a bullet. <laughs> As the war wore on, it became clear to many of the British soldiers <laughs> that their tendency to walk around in straight lines and wear bright red uniforms am amid the kind of gray and brown landscape of America wasn't working out so well against ar an army that was largely using guerrilla tactics and striking from behind trees and cover and such. And so, as they naturally would, some of these... Soldiers began to uh, talk about their complaints and possible solutions. God, this is awful, isn't it? Oh, it's fucking itchy and look at this college. Where the hell up here? Look, I, I mean, like all, all style points aside, I mean, just the color of it is so shocking, isn't it? It's, 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 I mean, we're, we're walking in snow and gray clouds and we're wearing right. fucking... Fuck you, red! red! Scarlet is all get out. Yeah! It's, it's sort of like, it's, it's almost insidious, like it's telegraphing to the enemy that we are, blood, we are bleeding. Right, yeah. I didn't think of that. I was like, I got shot, you can't see me I mean, bleed. Why but, are we, yeah, I mean, that's what I was told that, as well. Yeah. Yeah, that bloke I mean, with the just, uniform specialty. Yeah, what he was, was a he card. A, uh, an officer, a uniform officer, or. Yeah. Not a gentleman, though. Something like. No, he kicked Clancy. Yeah, I he saw did. that. Right kicked in the him. boot. Yeah, yeah, right in the boot. Disgraceful. I mean, I look at these fucking buttons. Look how shiny this is. Oh no, his fucking brass buttons. I mean, once he got into the eyes of one of the rebels and he squinted a little bit, but yeah. that means he shot the guy next to yeah. me and not me. And it honestly, really I can't help. be bothered to do them all up all the time either. Oh, you're going to get in trouble. No. Yeah. You, yeah, have you, to, you have to have them all. Look, I, well, I've got to have them all, you know, when they do uniform check, but oh yeah, the rest of the time it's just like, oh, vent it out, you know what I oh, mean? Oh, no, right? I have to keep my button. It's cold out here. 
I'm just trying to imagine a scenario where, like, this really makes real I know, like, like, strategic like, sense, you know. Yeah, I, I'm having trouble. Like, what Is if it, we, I mean, what if we came up with our own sort of a uniform and presented it to the officers, like? Yeah, it's not a bad idea. It's worth a try. I like it, yeah, let's do it. Like, what if we all wear, like, like, look, so I've got a friend. Right. He's he's in the Royal Navy. Oh, is he Ooh. now? We, we, oh la la! Yeah, I met him. <laughs> I met him uh, at the uh, the football game. Yeah, the Army Navy place. You know, I was playing in that. And I met him. Classic. He was a good bloke. I love that game. You know, we, you know, we won fair and square. He comes yeah. up, he shakes right. my hand, <laughs> congratulates me, and so we got a pint. And uh, he said that in some of the tropics, yeah, people. They like weave certain bits of clothing out of grass. Really? Grass yeah. like like marijuana. No, not like the ganja. Oh. No, like just like the grass you find lying around, like like right here. Huh. They would just pick it up and weave it into like garments like. Uh, now Look, I've seen grass before, like in, um, I went lawn bowling once, and that grass was awfully short. I don't really see how that could be woven. Yeah, but I mean, it's look, look big, over there, just uh, just around that tree there. Yeah. See all that long grass? This is grass. This is grass. This isn't grass. It's half buried in snow. It's weeds. And weeds. But it's not. I didn't, didn't know this was grass. I didn't know they had grass here. Yeah, they've got grass here. It's just all brown and shit. So you want like, to... You want to <laughs> You want our uniforms to be all brown and shit? Yeah, I mean, because well, everything else is all brown and shit. We'd be hard to see so that, we'll, wouldn't we? Yeah, exactly. Look, I understand. It's not like we're going to stand out, right? Well, look, I mean, look, I know that we're, I can, we're concerned about the vivid nature of our current uniforms, but right. I feel like it's gone a step too far, mate. I mean, what about morale? Yeah, we're what, walking around looking like piles of shit. What would buttons look like on that? That's my question. I guess you, you could make, like, kind of weave a little... Button knob. Make it make buttons out of acorn tops. Yeah, acorn tops. Oh, that's like a, a great <laughs> idea. We make the buttons out of acorn tops. That's going to be scratchier than this shit. Yeah, I don't know about this that's whole thing. That's pretty scratchy. What if I, I got allergies thinking, to grass? Like, maybe we could, like, raid a textiles mill or something if they've got that yet. <laughs> and no, I'll get I don't some, think like, so. nice linens and. Some linens? Or yeah, in this cold, you want to be in layers. Yeah, that's... Layered, it of course. So All you know, right, layers, yeah. and layers. then that way we can adapt to the climate as it changes. You Ooh, know, look at fancy man Ooh, over adapt here. To layers oh, it's the winter. Adapt to the climate. He Don't says. mock a good idea. <laughs> it's gonna be like fifteen below. How many fucking layers of linen are we gonna have to wear? Well, that's the thing about it is you can layer like as many as you want. No, no, too many. I want to look like that kid from a Christmas story with my arms sticking about, out. Like these, you know, these woolen things, this monstrosity is that it's like it's what it's, this it's is pretty, as thin as the layer gets, it's right? It's warm. So it's like when it's cold, yeah, it's good. But I like you, it. you still need to add some layers now and again, right? Oh, and then yeah. when it's warm, you can only take off so many layers and then it's still wool and horrible. That's it. That's what we do. We do. Remember the remember the Scots. We fight naked. We fight naked, and we paint ourselves like with we paint. We, we paint. We yeah. paint <coughs> like and, and mud and paint. And you can paint yourself. How many shit. layers of paint? I mean, it's going to be more than how many layers of linen. But just figure a combat advantage. You go in and you're lining up. They're expecting to see like proper British men. And what do they see? Bunch of willies just flapping about as yeah. we run up on them. Yeah. That's the element of surprise right there. It is. Ooh, I'm going to shoot <laughs> some Brits. Oh, my God, it's a willy parade. <laughs> I don't even want to look. Yeah, and then we shoot them. And we shoot them. And we stab them. Yeah. I just, look, I don't see how we... I don't see the likelihood of us being able to convince all of our comrades to do this. I don't see wide adoption being a possibility. Yeah, that's why we've got to go to the officers. They're yeah. into that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah but I think we, we want, again, with the morale, we want to, like, build it. I, not... you. I like being naked. Yeah, me too. And, you know, it's the proper time and place, yes. Yeah, like combat. Well, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> What's you got against a bit of free willy? Letting your tally whack a tassel. Look, I don't want to get into it. Or I just, I just, this, that's where I put my foot down. I am not going to be expressing myself in that way. All right, and would we just be the ones that everybody likes because we're naked and we're going to win a war? Yeah, naked. I'm going to get naked right now. Right, fucking now. Forget you know it. 
I don't care if it's cold. Ah, oh, it's yeah. bracing. Woo. It's bracing. You don't know what you're missing. It's fantastic. Let you know you're alive. So I think we can all agree that the United States of America was a great idea. You know, coming together as 13 colonies, becoming a sovereign nation, and every great idea needs a great name to go with it. And, you know, eventually what we ended up with was the United States of America. But it was a process getting there. Right, come to order. Ah, oh, um, go. I'm going right. to go, we're going to go ahead and uh, bypass roll call tonight because this is, you know, we all know who we are. That's yeah. Yeah, Madison. Who who decided that he got the gavel tonight? I don't know. What I I said it in like five minutes. Right. And we have just, but uh, one just, thing on the agenda uh, for the uh, evening, uh, late though it may be. Yeah. And that is, right. Look, we've been we've been circling around this for weeks now. Circling the drain. Um, we need to come up with a good name. Everything needs a good name. Uh, we already had a good name. We had the best name. The Independent Continental Conglomeration of Former Colonies of Great Britain, now independent. It pretty much says everything. I don't see the problem. Right, but after our last meeting, I think we all agreed that something a bit pithier would be good. Something shorter still explains the situation, but, you know, and, and Franklin I think, was uh, fine with it. He yes, laughed. Well, he I, laughed when I said it. He also he imbibed. It. Yeah, that's Franklin, though. I mean... Have you met that guy? I mean, that's yeah. the guy who wanted, right, that's true. wanted the bird to be a turkey, for Christ's sake. <laughs> I mean, I see his point. I mean, they're delicious. They're, look, his ideas can't all be winners, is what I'm saying. Okay, well, what do you think it should be? Uh, I was thinking perhaps something along the lane, along the lines of um, the 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 amal the the union of amalgamated uh, settlements in perpetuity. Mm. What if we? Oh my God! I fell asleep halfway through that. I did bungle it a little bit. I could oh try again. Yeah. No. 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 I do. I need to stay awake for the rest of this. I just adventure. really want the word amalgamated in there. Amalgamated. It feels good to me, you know. Amalgamated. Why don't we just the amalgamation? No. The amalgamation nation. Amalgam and then our train stations can be Amalgamation Nation stations. All right, I think we've gone off the And then if we need to find one of them, it's the Amalgamation Nation station location. I, this is going in the wrong direction, I think. I yes, think it's going, going the way of inflation. And if there's a fight there, it'll be the Amalgamation Nation station location confrontation. And it's if it's on fire... <laughs> <laughs> then what would it be? Would it burn to the ground? <laughs> the Amalgamation station location confrontation conflagration... Yes. Which actually kind of like, can we just go with that? Amalgamation. Station, well, I mean, the Ishans are a bit redundant. What if we ditched the Ishan part? Then what would it be? Amalgamate, locate, confront, conflag? Huh. That kind of sounds Greek. Like someone would have that tattooed on their lower back. It's a back. bit cryptic. Maybe not. Uh, um, maybe not. No. Um, are you really married to amalgamation? Well, I just, I just like. Uh, nation. Conflagration. I want it to be amalgamated. Amalgamated. Uh, hmm. Well, uh, maybe we could get out of the, the thesaurus. What? Uh, what? Oh. So amalgamation, amalgamated. What? Uh, maybe we could come up with another word that means the same thing. Well, what was your word again? It meant the same thing, roughly. <coughs> Togetherness. Yeah. Uh, the, well, I just, uh, do you mean conglomeration? Yes, yes. The amalgamation conglomeration. Like it's, these Brilliant. words are good. Coalition. Coalition, maybe. The coalition. Co the coalesced nation states of the continent of... Ass kickery. Yes. The, of the new lands. The, the new lands, the new world. yes. The new world land. The land of new worldliness. Well, well, I, we, were, we, were, we were getting warmer, and now we're getting colder again. The land discovered by Christopher Columbus and Amerigo Vespucci. Neither of those is really true. <laughs> the, land, the land discovered by Look, I, I certain we... native peoples, <laughs> and then Leif Erikson, and then found once again by Christopher Columbus and Amerigo Vespucci. See, he was rather far south is the thing. 
and subsequently recolonized by some British assholes. Yes. There we go. Look, I, I think I, we're getting into the weeds here. What if we this? can put that on the flag? What if, what if we go back instead to the, the, the idea of unity that we were talking about? So you know, we were talking about amalgamation, the conglomerate, and all of that. We're nation number one. The together. We the, are the best. The, the people's. The we, people's co- togetherness land of friendship. And bestness. Yeah, that sounds a bit. That's right. We, we could do a lot more. The, the together people who are better than all other people's combined land. So you're making <laughs> an, an argument that we are exceptional in some way. No, that we are the best. Yes. Um, See, he likes it. That was a sarcastic guess. I don't think it was. I think you're trying you, to cover. You wouldn't, would you? I. I wait, wait, was um, that sarcasm? What about. What about. Oh. Oof. The unified field theory of nation states. What does that mean? I don't know. We already know how fields work. We don't need theories. Let's see here. We are the colonies, yes. And we're the best. But we're, we're referring to them now as, as states? Nation states. Well, but they're not nation states. Well, they're are independent they? states within a sort of conglomeration. Yeah, well, there's some... Um, Rumblings of disagreement about how distinct they ought to be, but uh, all right, so we'll, we'll drop discussion nation. for another we'll time. The 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 uniform, the brought states. together. I mean, let's make it an action. So, all right, the the brought together, the states, the smushed togetherness of the future. Oh, I like the future. The future. Ooh. It's got some pizzazz to it. A oh, futuristic. Statehood togethers. I think we're going in the wrong direction <laughs> the, now. The the ball oh, aren't we all just a fun gang of states now? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. The fun gang of states. Now we can write a song. Yes. We the only? fun <laughs> gang of states is coming to kick down your door. Because we're the best. Yes, it's John T. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just run it by Jefferson and Washington. I think ah, they'll love it. They'll sign off on it. It'll be fine. So something well known to historians and to most grade school children is that George Washington had wooden teeth. His own teeth had gone rotten, and so he had... Uh, prosthetic dentures made, and they were made out of wood, which is one of the reasons why he never smiles in his portraits. What we have discovered is that when he had his initial set of wooden teeth made, they came with some really pretty alarming difficulties, and so he had to uh, consult some professionals to get that fixed. Yes, hello. Is, Is anyone in? Uh, yeah, yeah, what, uh, what do you need there? Oh, whoa, uh, yes. whoa, hey, uh, uh, sh- yes, I know, keep it. You're, but, yes, but I you're, am. I am George Washington, yes. <laughs> whoa. Well, yeah, Look, sure, I, uh, General I, Washington, what, what can I help you with? Um, well, it's, uh, I've got a bit of an issue with these chompers. Oh, with your teeth? These teeth here, yes, uh, these. Well, I'm not uh, really a. Dentist, I go, oh, oh, they come out. Yes, well, oh, then, Jesus Christ. The problem is they've been coming out in pieces. See, it's been oh. splintering a bit. They're made of wood. And oh, God. Oh, oh. My actual, you know, genuine teeth aren't uh, doing so well. And uh-huh. so I had these made, but they, they're not really cutting it, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, oh, you just put them in my hand. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, no, those are. Like, I'm uh, just looking at those. Those do you, are... Do you see a way forward? Do you see some? Uh, <coughs> well, uh, first off, I think cedar was the wrong choice. He said that it would help keep moths out of my mouth. <laughs> Did you have a big problem with moths in your well, mouth Well, I felt like I was eating things as I slept, and people said it was bugs and insects and so on. Yeah, that's not a thing, General Washington. No? <laughs> that's an old wives' tale. Is it? Yeah, no. See, because I hadn't noticed any 
with the cedar teeth. Right. But then I was a bit bothered by all the... The splinters and the... Yeah, there, there's definitely blood on these. Um, yeah, so that would be my first recommendation when we go to a, kind of a, you know, some kind of hardwood. Um, even pine would do better than oh. than this. Because cedar is notorious for splintering. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't done that much woodworking. Yeah, that's right. Uh, was that... So that wasn't you at Fort Ticonderoga? I mean, I was probably there. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah. Hey, so, crap, is that George Washington? Don't, shh, no, oh, all right. Shh. Shh. Oh, dude. He's, he's wow. a little privacy, please. He's incognito, as the Italians might say. He has to poop a lot? I'm sorry, General. Man, that sounds terrible. That's not what that means. That's No, he's in disguise. You're not no, a polymath, uh, are you? <coughs> No, I feel fine. <laughs> no, uh, General Washington is having trouble with oh. his uh, his teeth here. Oh, God. Ugh. That's really nasty and really cool. Okay, so you can't bite it hard enough? Like, is that the problem? <gasps> okay, well, we could take some of these. Look, should we take this end and we file this down? Oh, See, huh? look at the kind of piercing power that would have right on this point. True. Here, here. I, don't, I, I think mostly he's trying to uh, not have splinters in his gums. Ideally, though. you know, it is a bit bothersome. We had that chunk of marble floating around, right? Let's do marble? something with that. Yeah. Cool. You could you want to give him marble teeth? How cool would that be? They'd be so heavy. Right? You would, Your jaw would be enormous. You'd look like a gorilla. I don't think that's how that works. Are you sure? I saw a gorilla so I was once. just I was just thinking, like, we get some we get some nice hardwood. Um, yeah. Look, I, like, can I just go ahead and say, like, just I know that I'm not the expert on the, on materials, but I'm just going to veto marble. Just out the gate. I don't want mm. any part of me being made out of marble. Oh, okay. And then we have some onyx. Onyx? Right? Don't. If you want to give them black teeth? Come on. Scare the shit out of the British. But it'll look like his teeth are rotten. No, it, it's glossy. We could polish it up. No, yeah, I know. I, 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 I don't <sighs> want to be vain, but this is rather cosmetic. I mean, my teeth are already rotten. I don't want people thinking that they're rotten. That's the uh, whole point of the. Right. That counts out the gold. We get, we get a nice. Gold what? Counts out the gold. Gold's yellow, oh. though, and it's soft. Oh God, you'd have misshapen but no teeth. No splinters, though, right? It would be kind no, of cool to walk around with big gold. It's just not practical, General Washington. I suppose you're right, but I mean, couldn't we swing it just for me? <laughs> we have some of that. Could we at least not write it off? We won't <sighs> write it off, General Washington. Thank you. Maybe we could make the bracing system out of out of gold as like a compromise. I what about see. copper? Copper? That way they conduct electricity, too. Oh, good point. Which we know about. Yeah. No, better idea. Oh, yeah. Lead. Oh, lead tea. It even tastes sweet. Right? You could eat anything. No, but look, I mean, if we're going to get into you that get in a realm fight, you of... You bite someone's ear off, you won't even feel it. Like, yeah. If we're going to get into that realm of, of materials, then I'd rather do gold. I mean, it's also soft and... It's not really dense. It though. also conducts electricity. So true. Yeah, lead is look. But, but, so what plain. about what about just just like a nice like mahogany? We'll we'll paint it white. Yeah, yeah. Those will hold up. They won't splinter. We can do but, them in a in a gold uh, binding for you. Could you perhaps make new teeth out of the bones of cadavers? Thigh bones are pretty big. We could carve something out. Probably, yeah. We could do like vampire teeth. Or elephant. What if we get a whale? Elephant teeth. Ivory. Elephant teeth look weird. No, we do vampire teeth. What are those? Like, these ones are pointy. It's from, it's it's an old, it's an old British thing. You could scare the British. (gasps) What about tusks? What if we can make one come out like, if you're here like this? Like all the way over the Yeah. Like, go like, ah. Ah. See it right there. Oh. Oh, oh, or, or on the bottom, pointing up like this. Oh, oh. like you stick your jaw out, like ah, oh. ah. Oh. No, I don't know. I don't. I, I think that I don't think that would work very well with uh, oh. General. Yeah, General Washington's personality doesn't seem to call for that. Oh, <laughs> that's all right. You can you stop could, that now, oh, General Washington. Oh, oh. Cool, cool. Throughout the history of 
the United States, there have been there have been hard times, dire situations that we needed to uh, pull through. The thing that we've discovered in going through all these old records is there's a lot of those dire times that were kind of edited out of the historical record. And the only clue we have to their existence is these speeches that were given by various people. And we, we'd like to just give you a sample of a few of their, uh, their just opening remarks. In dark times, faced by brilliant men, so truly does the spirit rise as when the wine runs dry. Like we're out of wine. And my fellow friends and Americans, truly has no greater calamity been set upon us than this. Look, this is this thing, this is upside down. I don't know if you can tell from, it's, it's empty. We don't have any wine left. I, I can't, oh, I got off track a little bit there. So the, the, these times that try our spirits, or we're, it's a trying because we're out of spirits. And truly, as brothers, now must we band together. For the darkest times are the soberest times. My fellow Americans, we are gathered here today to acknowledge the terrible and trying times in which we live. At 8 a.m. this morning, an insurgent group led by a small chicken by the name of Foghorn Leghorn took control of Fort Sumter in defiance of federal law. These are dark times. They are dire times. They are the most desolate and deeply disappointing times of our age. <laughs> and I think we can all agree, all of us who bothered to show up to this little gathering, I was told it would be many more. <laughs> we were told that the future was the opposite of those things I said. That it would be bright and glistening and effervescent and illuminating and better, really, in a word. <laughs> I, and I, I challenge you. Yes, you. Oh. Look, who else am I going to talk to? Sorry. I challenge you to think, to imagine, oh, is this worth it? <laughs> Let's try this again next week, can we? Let's try to get more people here. I liked it. I appreciate that. When do you do the song and dance? Well, I'm not doing it today. <laughs> <laughs> this concludes A New American History, lecture number one of the Jonathan Hansen Lecture Series, a Drowning Man production. So, there you go. That was it. You have learned a lot. I can feel it. I can tell. I mean, I don't understand why the great courses wouldn't want that. I don't get it. In their... Scrubs. In their catalog of, yeah. of wonderful courses. But, uh, you know, to each their own, and hopefully they'll see the wrong of their actions. Hopefully. I'm, I'm thinking that now that this is out in the world, mm -hmm. that people will people will listen to it, and they'll demand that the great courses rectify their hideous error. Yes, I, I, I would hope so. That would make so. sense. If the internet is good for nothing, it's good for allowing a mob <laughs> to <laughs> exa you know, effect change. I agree. Yes. So it's one of its best qualities. Here we are, and, and let's hope that that happens. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget there will be a test. Yeah. We're um, gonna, it's going to be like 80% of your grade, so pay attention. Yep. Fortunately for you, you can listen back to this lecture as many times as you like in between now and then. It's open note. 
Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, and uh, in order to take the test, you're going to need to sign into iTunes uh-huh. and uh-huh. click the write a review yes. button. Um, and just just write your answers right in that field there and click uh-huh. submit. And also, I mean, be patriotic while you do it and click some of those stars. Yeah. Oh, all yeah. Of them. Try and get all Play of them, the star yeah. game. Play the star game and win. It'll be great. Yes. You win by clicking them all. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Really, everybody Ending wins. with the, the all of the fifth one. Yes. Yes. Um, anyway, that's all the time we have for this week. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. We hope that uh, we've given you some points of reflection to, to think back on our history uh, mm-hmm. as Americans. And for all of you people uh, across the sea in Uckland and those of you down in uh, down under. South Africa and in China and Australia, all of those other places that aren't America. Oh, and thank you, France. We appreciate your help. Mm-hmm. Um, Lafayette, he was the man. Just more, more, more to ponder when you think of us in the modern era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Just some context there. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, when it'll be slightly less patriotic, but just just because of the coincidence of the right the calendar. My name is Dave. I'm John, and I'm Cody. And we wasted all of the free time. Ah, I see what you did there. America. Gosh, yes. Thanks a lot. (laughs) Good night, America. If you enjoyed the show, then leave us a rating and review on iTunes, Stitcher, or anywhere that lets you put in a review. You can call or text the show at area code 916-235-3337. If you'd like to interact with us in any other way, then www.wastingallthetime.com would be a great place to start. There you can submit listener-suggested scenes and questiones, you can buy your own copy of the Fruit Words card game, you can read blog posts from Ted and the guys, and a whole lot more. So check it out at wastingallthetime.com. Truth or <laughs> you're so excited mouthing it, <laughs> whispering oh. it. <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to imagine a scenario where my accent makes sense. (laughs) (laughs) Um...